Hey America, all I wanted to do was make you a cocktail and tell you a great way of preserving citrus. But on advice of counsel, I've been told not to tell you the contents of this bowl or anything that's in this box. Please view this video at your discretion. Day 370 of lockdown. Day 370 of lockdown. Things are starting to get crazy. Forward this video at your discretion. Tell your friends with caution. The conspiracy theories are starting to compound. I can't keep track of all the conspiracy theories. Am I crazy? Are birds even real? They say I'm loopy, but I just like a bowl of these. For these are the Fruit Loop Tales, and this is a chew story. When I was growing up, they only had like three flavors of Fruit Loops, and now they've got five or six. And since when did they start making the blue ones? My wife insists that each loop has a different flavor. I can't taste it. Do you know in England, they don't have blue Fruit Loops because they're made with artificial coloring, and that's not allowed in England? Unless I get an alcohol sponsor. The key to making a good cocktail, in my opinion, is not the quality of the spirits. It's the quality of the citrus and the syrups that you use to mix it. This is a Cara Cara orange, and the season is about to end. So a good way of preserving the flavor of this orange is to turn it into a syrup that you can use indefinitely. I'll show you how. So my wife, Laura, is a sugarist, which means we've got a lot of sugar in the house. This recipe is super versatile. You can use it with any citrus. This simple syrup will last indefinitely in the refrigerator. In this container of 333 grams of sugar, and I'm going to just grate the citrus rind into the sugar, and this is going to add some flavor. Now, in grating citrus, you just want to get the, the colored bits. You don't want to grade into the, into the white membrane of the, of the citrus because that's just going to impart sort of a bitter flavor to your uh, syrup. We're also going to grate one grapefruit. This is citric acid, and what's this gonna do is it's gonna help preserve the syrup. It also, depending on the amount that you use, is gonna give that kind of pucker uh, feeling that you might get sometimes when you um, taste a, a soft drink. I use about 10 grams per 500 milliliters of water. Here's 10 grams of citric acid. I'm gonna just put that in there. And then half a liter or 500 milliliters of freshly boiled water. Give that a stir until the sugar dissolves. I'm also gonna add a couple sprigs of rosemary since I've got it in the herb garden. It's just gonna add a little extra woodsy flavor to this. Again, this syrup is super versatile. Anytime that there's a fresh tris that's in season, uh, always make a little syrup. Whenever you've got some sparkling water, you can just pour a little of that syrup in, into the glass and you've got uh, unlimited uh, fruit soda. The orange peel is just kind of blooming that, uh, that orange and, and grapefruit flavor. It smells really good. It clears my sinuses. And then I just stir this to cool. Time to add the citrus. What are they doing? And then once this is cooled, we just uh, add the citrus. Look at that. Beautiful. These things, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I found, I found the simplest way to extract citrus is use a fork. You don't need to worry about the pulp or, or bits of, of the citrus to get into the bowl. We're going to strain all of this into a bottle. Fruit loop. Is it fruit or is it fruit? 
As a child, I thought it was fruit. When was it fruit? Was it ever fruit? In 2009, Roy Warbell filed a suit against the Kellogg's Corporation because he thought that Fruit Loops contained actual fruit. He said that the Kellogg's Corporation intentionally deceived people by using the word fruit on the box. Mr. Warbell said, if he knew that the cereal didn't have any fruit in it, he would have never bought it. Liar! Warble said in court filings that he ate the cereal thinking it was healthy for him. He demanded unspecified damages to be paid to all consumers who have consumed Fruit Loops in the past. Have I been taken by the toucan? Was it always fruit? When was it fruit? It's good, but I'm more of an Applejack guy. Henderson Luling. I've had a bad history with birds. Don't ever toucan, cockatoo, or parrot. Don't ever touch their backs. I repeat, do not pet a bird's back. How would I know that petting a bird's back is a sexualized bonding event for them? My wife had a cockatoo when we first met. I thought he was just happy to see me. And every time I went over there, I would like stroke his back and he would just kind of shake and, and judder and spasm while I was doing it. And I thought, you know, the bird likes me. Well, turns out he really liked me. I would just stroke the bird's feathers and he would just shudder. According to Twinkie and some internet research, we bonded and not in a good way. So then I started going over to the house and every time I went over to the house, the bird would be like pressed against the cage and just like squawking at me until I went over there and gave him some attention. Toucan Sam, let it be known, I had no intention of sexualizing birds. In the end, we had to send Twinkie back to Alaska to live with her brother because the bird was just too much to handle. Bobbing his head, squawking until he got the attention he deserved. I digress. Is it fruit or fruit? So I dug deeper. It turns out Mr. Werbel also had a case against crunch berries. Crunch berries. He was shocked that they too had no berries. Take that toucan, Sam. I digress. Was fruit ever a fruit? Is this the Mandela effect? Was fruit ever a fruit? So I dug deeper. So I started reading the great American cereal book, How Breakfast Got Its Crunch. And in there, it said in 1959 that Fruit Loops, F-R-U-I-T, were introduced to the public. But less than six months into distribution, Renee Paxton in Paxton versus Kellogg's insisted that since fruit was not in the packaging, that it could not be called fruit. Renee Paxton in Paxton versus Kellogg insisted that the brand was misleading the public because there was no fruit in the box. Kellogg's settled. In the case, Kellogg's agreed to rebrand so in 1963, fruit became fruit. So I dug deeper. So I go to the Reuters Westlaw website, the most comprehensive source for legal documents, and there is no Paxton versus Kellogg. Is this just a marketing ploy developed by the Mad Men era of advertising? Listen, have you noticed something very special about new Kellogg's Oop Frey Oops Lay? They elves may so delicious day. Yeah, and they smell good, too. They don't spell any different to me. Why not? I have a cold. <laughs> oh, boy. And another round we go. Well, Kellogg's puts real orange, lemon, and cherry flavors with colors to match in these crispy little cereal circles made from oats, then spangles them with big, crunchy sugar crystals. And then we just pour this syrup through a strainer into a bottle. Case after case, fruit versus fruit, down the rabbit hole we go. Try them. I have a terrible cold, you know. Oops, fry, oops, like. <laughs> Luckily, it hasn't affected my appetite. <gasps>
Was fruit ever fruit? As conspiracies go, Toucan Sam, are birds even real? Is this the Mandela effect? I specifically remember this being called Stouffer's Stovetop Stuffing, but it's always been now Kraft Stovetop Stuffing. And it's always been that way. It wasn't from the 1970s. It's always been Kraft, but I remember the commercial. I remember everything about being it called Stouffer's Stovetop Stuffing. So here's another one too, the Raisin Bran guy. I know he always used to have sunglasses, but now he's never wore sunglasses ever. In McKenna's, Versus Kellogg, the federal judge determined that fruit, the word fruit in connection with loops and fruit, which is real, does not come in the form of loops. And the judge determined that any reasonable consumer would know that fruit isn't fruit because fruit doesn't come in strange shapes like loops. Have you been to Japan? Island are very proud of these plants. Nobody cares what's inside of it. In the Caribbean, they call this ting and it's just made of the grapefruit. Is that Tony? Tony the tiger? The bird. The bird's watching me. Eh, squirrel. I need a drink. All right, so this unnamed cocktail. Start with one and a half ounces of gin. Half an ounce of maraschino liquor. One ounce of our citrus syrup. A couple dashes of bitters. Juice of half a lime. Every time I need to use one egg yolk, I always save the egg whites for cocktails. They last about a week in the fridge. So, one egg white. Add ice to the cocktail shaker and shake. and then double strain into a cocktail glass. And then a cherry. Cheers. <laughs> no conspiracy theory here. That's a good cocktail. Well, there you have it. Our Fruit Loop cocktail. So there you have it. Or do you? Hey, babe. To my hun? Yeah, yeah. Hey. It's Laura. Cheers. Cheers, darling. I got the fancy glass. Um, I got the masculine glass. Well, you know, it's all about image. What do you think? I think it's really good. It's very nostalgic. Fruit Loops, obviously. Uh, don't say Fruit Loops. Is it? <laughs> it's adult Fruit Loops. <laughs> Is it fruit or fruit? Fruit. Yes, fruit. It's a giant conspiracy. We had a whole discussion this morning about that, and I was very confused because I asked for the answer. It's never been fruit. It's <laughs> always been fruit. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Next time. Toucan watching. Oh. Don't get me started on the birds. Together, first vacation together, and we're out, and you heard a bird, and he's like, Twinkie? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. Okay? yeah, I love that bird. Mm, no, that was a creepy bird, though. Two o'clock in the morning. I need the fruit. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god, check this one out. I got like a. Um, a white one? I saw that. Oh my God, there are tons of them. Well, that one's not in comparison to this one. These are huge. These are like double crunch ones. Did you know that the same guy that sued um, Fruit Loops also sued Crunchberry? I love Crunchberries. <laughs> he sued Crunchberries like because- all Crunchberries? You sued Why? Crunchberries because the berries? there weren't any berries in it. <laughs> Another round? Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. The bird.